The main point of the video is this. Julia Parker's schedule is gonna be packed. How's it going, y'all? Aiden Anderson here with the Moscow Minutes. It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video today. Both the Moscow City Council and the Laytaw County Commissioners met this week, and I've got a few highlights to bring to your attention. Not a ton from the County Commissioners this week, unless your property tax exemption or liquor license happen to be on the docket, in which case you probably already know who you are. There is, however, some office rearrangement happening soon in conjunction with some remodeling being done at the Laytaw County Annex. Commissioners had a bit of a discussion about that. So be advised, if you happen to have some appointments with a county official at that building, it might be a bit more hectic than usual. If you're a U of I student, chances are you've seen one of our current city councilors on campus before, as four of the six councilors work in some capacity at the university. Those councilors would be Sandra Kelly, Gina Terusio, Bryce Blankenship, and Drew Davis. Soon, Councilor Julia Parker will also become a frequent site on campus, though not as a university employee. At their Monday night meeting, the Moscow City Council received a proposal from ASUI, which is the Associated Students of the University of Idaho. The proposal was to create an official City Council liaison position specifically for this student organization. The Council would select one of their own to regularly attend ASUI Senate meetings and help them plan events like the town and gown that they do every year in order to strengthen communication between the city and the students. The Council voted unanimously to create the liaison position and that night selected Julia Parker to be the first counselor to hold that position. Continuing with the Julia Parker news, she recently announced her candidacy for the Idaho State Senate running against incumbent Senator Dan Foreman. At this point, it's pretty early on the campaign trail, but you can visit her website, votejuliaparker.com, where you can find a couple pieces of info about her life, her campaign priorities, as well as a pretty decent photo of her in the park with her dog. I'm sure there will be more to come as the 2024 campaign season heats up. And that's what I got for you this week. Hopefully we'll have more information coming soon on the Six and Jackson property development that I talked about last week, as well as on the Brian Koberger trial whose start date is in this interesting limbo right now. And of course, once the 2024 campaign season kicks off, we'll keep you updated with info on your local candidates. I'm Aiden Anderson, and this is the Moscow Minutes. We'll see you next time.